Hello folks, time for another video and the night shave. Even though it may look like daytime, but I got my forward light and I got light behind the shower curtain. My fault because I wanted to shave two days ago, but I forgot that Veterans Day was this week and I was waiting on two products to come in and they didn't show up till today, which is Saturday. Very late in the day because my mailman on Saturday doesn't get here till nighttime. Plus, you know, with the daylight savings times now, the time is all messed up. Air conditioning's running, and this is actually perfect for the shave because we got some weird, like, like hot weather. Not really hot, hot, but warm weather lately since the storm came through. So, got some interesting, interesting things going on tonight. First, we'll be shaving with some shark bite see if i can line that up there some shark bite from 345 soap company i saw my buddy josh do a uh a shave with this brand so now with this shark bite with another soap from this company i'm like hey i don't have anything from them so i was out looking for a part for a razor and i was on pastor's website and this was available and here's what i like about this too the lid fits the container. I know that's kind of trivial, but I always thought that was cool. I'm not real familiar with the bases from 345, so I will kind of put up the ingredients right there. There you go. I'm doing the shave way later than I would normally do it, but I want to get it done because I got plans tomorrow and I want to get this up on the YouTube. So, the razor is interesting tonight because I'm using the Timeless Bronze, which is a gorgeous razor, which a subscriber by the name of Steven sent me a while back. Great razor. The only difference now is before I only had the open comb plate, trying to get this the right orientation. I had the open comb plate for the timeless bronze and it took me a while to kind of save up to get another plate because it is kind of pricey this razor and I got the solid bar plate and let me see if I can turn it the right way for you. If my camera even picks it up. But this is the solid bar. Let's see if I can kind of hold it that way. Yeah, and there's the Timeless logo on the bottom of the razor there. I don't even know if I have it in the right orientation. So we're going with the solid bar today on the Timeless Bronze. I have this nice and shiny. I keep it well polished. And blade in there. Bet you guess this one. Yes, it's a Persona Prep blade. And brush. We're using the West Coast Honeycomb. I have lather all over it today. Because I'm kind of in, in a rush getting everything ready here. The West Coast Honeycomb. My wife calls it the pickle. Just because of the way the bottom looks there. It looks like a pickle chip. It's got a uh, synthetic tuxedo knot and I am using the black timeless bowl tonight why not right yeah mm. forgot to tell you about the soap so anyway this is kind of a summery scent but I like scents all year round and this has pineapple pear coconut and wood you can see it right there on the label Got a great fresh vibe. I'm really into the islandy kind of. Kind of reminds me of a high, uh, Hawaiian tropic kind of vibe. Good stuff there. There was kind of a little bit of a casualty with this shipping that came in, but I'll go over that later. Anyway, let's wet the face. I know this. I'm way way late on the shave. I am so sorry. Trying to see my mirror better here because it's kind of got lights blaring me in the face tonight. <laughs> 
345 Soap Company. Shark Bite. I know this soap has been out for a while. I've seen a bunch of videos on it. I've always wanted to pick it up, but I... Somehow forgot about it. And then I watched my buddy Josh on Redbeard Shaves. I'll leave a link to his channel down below. He was shaving with another soap. I can't remember the name of it, but it was by 345 Soap Company. So I happened to be on Pastor's website. And it was there. This and the splash. So I picked up both. And I was expecting this to come in a day ago, but I forgot that there's no mail on Veterans Day. My fault. All right. I'm just going to go with the Shark Bite from 345 Soap Company. I think I said that about 20 times already. And I did pick it off of Pastor's website, but I will leave the link to 345 Soap Company down below. All right, so Timeless Bronze with the new solid bar plate with a Persona prep. Oh, yeah. What I did was... I was searching all the shaving websites, all the shaving distributors' websites, and trying to look for this plate. And nobody had it, so I went to Timeless's website, and they had it in their scratch and dent section. I believe it was only $50 versus the $80, which it normally is. And I ordered it. And they promptly shipped it out. And I can't tell that it's scratch and dent because it's in perfect condition. Like I said, I was gifted this razor from a subscriber many years ago by the name of Steven. And he sent it with the open comb, which I do enjoy. But I wanted to try the solid bar the closed comb and this is very smooth I love this razor because the weight of this thing is awesome Feels so good. Yeah, it always held me back in the past. I know I was gifted the razor, but you know, I am a budget minded shaver and I do have a few expensive razors, but I was lucky enough that the razors I do have that are expensive were sent to me by awesome folks like my Rex Ambassador. Wow, that was a great shave. Great first pass on that. But anyway, I was going to get a plate for this years back, but then when I found out it was as much as a regular razor would be, I was kind of holding off. But since I picked up a plate for the car not too long ago, I said, you know what? I really need to pick up a new plate for the Timeless Bronze. And 
I just did. Like I said, I also was watching my buddy Josh's channel, Red Beard Shaves, and he was shaving with a soap from 345 Soap Company. And I was like, hey, you know, I don't have anything from them. So, when I was at Pastor's website, I saw they had the shark bite there with a splash, and I was like, hey, I should pick that up, even though it's, we're entering the colder season, but like I said, it doesn't matter to me. Looks like I caught myself right there. I accidentally hopped with the razor. That was my fault. Not the razor's fault. All my fault. Anyway, not a big deal. Wow, that's nice. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That is pretty. Just a little bit down the jawline. Well, I got my counter soaking wet. All right. I think we're going to end it there. Oh, nice. Wow, I am totally, totally... BBS, and I, of course I got a lot of other in my ear, but that's nothing new for me. All right, let's empty good old Sigmund the Sea Monster sink. I also need to wipe down my counter because I was extra sloppy today because I'm kind of in a rush because it's so late. I do want to get this up on YouTube. Little cold water rinse. All righty. Lancaster towel in for the water mop up. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, I still got that lather in my ear. I caught myself a little bit right there, but I felt me, I felt myself hop with the razor, but that's okay. All right, so a quick little recap before I put on the matching splash. That was 345 Soap Company's Shark Bite. I know it's kind of a summary scent, but hey. Whatever makes you feel good, right? Oh, that's good. I feel great. And like I said before, look at the cool scent profile. I put it actually on the front of the label, which I really dig. Pineapple, peach, coconut, and wood. Awesome. Mm. Great scent. Cool pour. And... How cool is that? If you're one of the guys who lathers up in your container, easy to keep them together when you're drying it out. All right. And that was the Timeless Bronze today with the Clothes Comb or Solid Bar. Awesome. Versus the Open Comb. 
Gotta make sure to put that plate away when I'm done. <laughs> Alrighty. And blade in there was a Persona Prep blade. And we use the West Coast Honeycomb today with a... Let me shake it. Let me shake it. Shake it up there so you can see the knot. I know. And there goes my air conditioner. That's how warm it's been here today. It was freezing cold last week and warmed up this week. So it's the West Coast Honeycomb in green, which my wife calls the pickle. And it's got the tuxedo knot in there, which of course is synthetic. And like I said, it's called the pickle because of the bottom, that's what my wife calls it. I didn't notice that actually at first. And we lathered it up in the black timeless bowl today versus the blue one, which is sitting right here. Mm. Boy, that feels good. I really need that shave because I'm starting to get itchy. That's why I shave during November while everybody else does not. I truly, truly support all the cancer. forms out there that fight against the cancer, prostate cancer, breast cancer, all that. I just shave because I get irritated if I have, you know, growth on my face. All right, did I forget anything? Boom, boom, boom. All right, so this was the casualty of the shipping. I got the matching splash, but the label kind of took a hit. You see the shark dude is gone because it leaked a little bit in shipping. I didn't lose much, but it did leak a little. Mm. Really get that pineapple and coconut in the splash. Mm. Good stuff. Got a good restrictor too. I'm sure if the restrictor was larger, I would have lost more product in shipping. But at least it stayed pretty much on the bottle and on the label. So it only took off some of the graphic on the label there. But you can still see the name. It's just that the shark kind of got washed away. Anyway, that was the matching splash from 345 Soap Company. Shark Bite. Awesome deal. All right, folks. Sorry to shave is so late in the week and in the day so sorry about that but if you like today's 345 soap company's shark bite thumbs up if you didn't like it hit that dislike button and please subscribe we need those subscribers i'm trying to hit a thousand hitting a thousand we're getting there like a hundred and i don't know 60-ish 70-ish so we could maybe you know I can start doing some maybe lives. We'll see how that goes too once I hit a thousand. Anyway, please subscribe. Stay safe. Sorry this is late this video, but we'll keep on track. Till next shave, Glenn signing off.